here. Ready? Why is Christmas the cheesiest oh, the holiday? Jokes. Why is Christmas the cheesiest holiday? Why is it the cheesiest holiday? Because of baby Jesus. Baby, baby Jesus? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did yeah. it again, right? Uh, you it would have been funny. It still is funny. It would have been funny. Baby Jesus. Yeah, we're going to make some baby Jesus today. <laughs> This one oh, and this one. Oh, hilarious. It's a cranberry pistachio lemon cheese ball. Yep. And Steve is making a cashew dill cheese. Derek's cheese ball is a little bit of a softer, like a spreadable one, and the, the cashew dill <laughs> is, this is gonna be a nightmare. Is is sliceable. Um, so it's a little bit firmer and you could put on um, on a bread or, or something like that. So but both of them are equally delicious and ridiculously easy. Naturally, and it's uh, we're filming Esther's kitchen a little later in the day <laughs> to accommodate <laughs> to some, specifically to accommodate to accommodate some Derek's wine, glass of wine with cooking today. Uh, so, uh, in light of baby cheeses, oh, got our little, have chalices. Some little chalices. Oh, look how fancy we are today! You'll notice we've really stepped things up. We've got a little a little oh. cooker right here on the counter that's allowing us to boil some water that we need for my dill cheese. Hallelujah. Derek's got a little a little uh, food processor and over a there. banana wine topper. <laughs> <laughs> banana wine topper. So to our cheese. Um, cheese is one of the things people say. Um, a lot of times we hear people say how hard it is. Oh, I can't give up my cheese. It's easy to get rid of meat from your diet, and 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 cheese is a big one for people. They really really struggle with. So um, there are countless countless ways to make uh, an ester approved cheese, and both of what we're going to show you today are a cashew based ways to do them. Mine is a little bit different. Um, it requires a couple of different ingredients opposed to Derek's, but um, yeah, let's let's get started. So I've got a pot, or sorry, one cup of uh, water boiling over here, and I'm going to add to that one teaspoon of agar agar. That's like a, um, a really fine powder. It's made from seaweed, right? Is that correct? It comes from yeah, the ocean. Yeah, it comes from the ocean, so it's, a, it's like a seaweed thing, and it basically acts um, to help us thicken and firm up this the aroma that comes off of it mix. too does have a, a, a sea smell to it. Yeah, so it's a bit fishy. Don't worry, that that that, that goes smell away. is going to go away. It doesn't transfer into the taste of the food. Not at all. Um, last night before I went to bed, I soaked my nuts uh, for this recipe. Uh, there's three cups of cashews. Now, if you don't have time to soak your nuts overnight, uh, two to four hours uh, will sometimes work in a pinch. Yes. Uh, so I've got three cups of, these were unsalted cashews. Yeah, right? these are totally just raw, unsalted cashews. That's right. And then, um, so that's the prep work that's needed ahead of time. And then the other ingredients that you need, uh, we have uh, lemon zest, we have lemon juice, uh, we have uh, Parmesan cheese. Um, no, you um, Parmesan. Nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. It looks that is like the Esther approved uh, Parmesan cheese. And then there's salt in there. And what else? What's the white stuff there? What's this? Oh, oh, that's coconut, coconut oil. oil. Coconut yeah. oil. That's coconut oil. Uh, so that's... it's the, yeah, it's the nutritional yeast is really common. It gives a really cheesy flavor um, to a lot of Esther approved recipes. So, um, yeah, it's not actually a vegan Parmesan. There's ways to make vegan Parmesan, but it's used in pretty much all vegan cheese recipes. So, so. I'm going to mix uh, my soaked nuts in another a bigger bowl. I'm going to combine all the ingredients uh, except for the nuts and the uh, cranberries. I'm going to save those until after the cheese has been cooled and then we're going to roll the ball in those. So I'm going to add all the ingredients. We got the lemon juice, the lemon zest, the nutritional yeast, the coconut oil and salt. All of the ingredients uh, you can catch on uh, Esther's Kitchen Facebook page or alternately uh, probably on this feed as well. On the yeah, yeah, we'll get the recipes Esther. posted right into the comment feed here. Alright, so that's all mixed up. Uh, there we are, and I'm going to toss that over. Stir. And mine's really easy. I've just got a um, that cup of water boiling with one teaspoon of agar, and I'm going to let that simmer here for five minutes, giving it a little stir here. Um, and yeah, I'm just letting this thicken up a little bit over here, so this will simmer away while Derek's drinking. continuing. <laughs> but Derek's continuing with his cheese ball. I'm always amazed at how easy these recipes are. It can see, it seems so intimidating. 
sometimes when you see just the thought of making a, a cheese ball or a cheese platter for an event. We'll seems get to through be it. We'll get through it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're so easy. This is another great way to get through the holidays, um, Derek. <laughs> just, I mean, <laughs> you can always tell the holidays are here when the wine cupboard is bare. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that's all mixed up nice and good. And I've got my little mini food processor here that I'm going to process these little batches yeah. at a time. Now ours is just little, so we're probably going to have to do this in two rounds. It's because we have a mini pig, so we yeah. have a mini food processor here. There we go. We're going to make a wonderful nut cheese with our soaked nuts. We made these yesterday. As you can see, Oops. here's one here that we've kept for the sample and one that we tried ourselves and they are delicious. So I'm going to keep my spatula to scrape this out at the end. Uh, and I'm told you can add a little bit of water as we go if yeah. it seems like the cheese is not forming together right. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Other way, I think. There you go. Right, Cheers. Zap away. Cheers. Cheers to cheese. Cheers to cheese. <laughs> are you going to zap it or are you going to make it do it itself? Well. Are you going <laughs> to... Not really in a hurry. This is supposed to be a relaxing time in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a relaxing time in the kitchen. Right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So these are soft. This is nacho really cheese. Easy. This is nacho yeah, cheese. Right. Yeah. This, is so this is my oh cheese. This is my cheese. Oh my gosh, you're funny. <laughs> oh, <I'm> hilarious. <laughs> so my stuff over here is simmering away pretty good. I'm gonna move this to keep warm. So that's all coming that's together good. nicely. Yeah, you want it to be really, really smooth. Not, you don't want to overdo it though because it turns to what they call like a butter. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so I was turning it on to high. Yeah, so I think that's going pretty good. It's starting to turn in on itself. You're looking for like a nice, like a spreadable type. Spread a spreadable texture, right? So. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, let's... Yeah, yeah, try that. Dump that out. See how that came. How does it smell? You want to smell? Yeah, see, it smells really lemony. It smells delicious, actually. Doesn't it? Wonderful. I was hoping that we were going to get to use the nut sacks. No, that's for milk. That's when you're making, like, almond milk or... or that's oh. <laughs> the big nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the big... Uh, yeah. We got Chef Linda sent yeah. us my big fat nut sacks. And... <laughs> <laughs> they are two nut sacks are better than one, and um, this is good. We're going to use these to yeah, make we're cheese. Use we're for making homemade nut milk, yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah, you can do so I can't milk wait milk to use those. I can't oh wait. Oh my god, nut cheese! Nut it yeah, is. That looks pretty decent. Season. That looks pretty decent. You're hovering. Well, I'm just waiting for you. I need the processor because oh. my stuff's stalled out here. Do I need to wash this out? No, I need to rinse it. But. In other words, hurry up. Yeah, in other words, get okay. your, get your you damn cheese out of there. There we are. <laughs> there we are. All right. Hello, Cornelius. Yes, we have your hands in. Uh, last night when we were sampling this, uh, Cornelius also sampled it, and uh, he approved of it. And Shelby grabbed the whole bowl of it while we weren't looking, and she helped herself to a big helping of that. Uh, so it's for sure she should be approved. Yeah, definitely. All right, so I've got that all mixed up. I'm going to use a saran wrap, or you could also use a plastic bag, and you're gonna break the break the cheese into two, cut the cheese. <laughs> if you must, if you must, if you must cut the cheese, do it on camera. There it is. And I'm going to put them into these bags and form a little ball. Yeah, am I forming the ball before it goes into the bag? No, you want to put it into the into the saran wrap. Right? Use the saran wrap and then and wrap it into a ball and then put it in the bag and then you can kind of squeeze it a little bit more because I tried to to squeeze it in just the saran wrap and it burst through. Oh my Oh hello. look who's here. Hello. Look my who's doodle. Here. What are you doing? I'm just going for a walk. She's going on a little <laughs> dog food hunt. Whenever Esther gets up, she's got to go check it out to make sure yeah. that we don't have any dog food bowls down. She loves, loves, loves a good salty dog food snack. Yes, she does. But we don't 
you know, it's not really the best treat for. No. Uh, so okay. I'm just giving this a quick rinse. I'm not being all that cautious. So cashews are cashews. Not so uh, remember to warn your guests that uh, these are these have nuts in them. Yes. You know, you don't want to kill anybody. Or maybe you do. I'm not sure. But put it down. <laughs> it depends who's coming. Yeah, over. yeah. Make sure you all warn right. your guests. Any of the uh, the uh, the. Any of the food you're going to serve your guests that has nuts in it or any major allergens, make sure you let them know. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so I've got this forming into a ball, into my saran wrap. I'm going to put it into a bag. I'm going to chill it. I'm going to squeeze it. Squeeze it. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Easy is, honestly, it comes together so quickly. So in my processor here, I've got one cup of cashews, and I'm going to add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of onion powder, um, and I have also got in here, what was my other ingredient? Garlic? No. Salt. salt. Onion powder. Nutritional yeast. And nutritional yeast. That's it. That's oh. the three of them. Yeah, no, that's because they're so simple. It's confusing. <laughs> so that's it. They're going in here. And I'm going to throw this also onto the food processor, excuse me. And this one's going in drier, so I've got to be careful processing this one, because this one will turn to cashew butter if I overdo it. So I'm trying to turn this into like a fine dust, like a powder. So it goes a little easier than Derek's. Derek's cashews were soaked. These ones were not soaked. These are just dry nuts. Plain old dry nuts. <laughs> Plain old dry nuts. So that's it. So that turns to a dust pretty quickly. And then I take that straight over here to my simmering agar mixture, which is turning into a little bit of a, a jelly kind of a consistency now. And I'm going to pour in my mixture here and that immediately starts to thicken up as you can imagine and starts to look quite cheesy cheese balls cheese balls <laughs> all right so i'm going to put my cheesy balls into the fridge and in the fridge through the power of magic and television i have one ready to go one chilled cheese ball and uh, what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to roll it around in these cranberries and pistachios. Yeah, we've got half a cup each of chopped pistachios and chopped um, cranberries, dried cranberries. I can turn that off now. So I've just mixed this stuff, combined it all together, and now I'm adding half a cup of chopped dill, fresh dill. And I'm just going to give that a stir just quick enough to mix it up. I don't want to over stir it or you can kind of turn everything green, this like a grass green. stain, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's true. Here's so, some grass here's stained, some grass stained cheese. cheese. You're welcome. So, yeah, Merry Christmas. So you just want to mix that just until it's kind of combined. And then that's it. Mine's going to go into a mold. Well, Derek, I'm not really sure what to do. You need to roll it okay. in those pistachios. And then you want to kind of like coat the whole thing. Using my... Yeah, use yeah. your hands. And then you can kind of, I was taking them, yeah, see how they kind of stick on their own, and then I would take some in my hand and actually kind of squish them in oh, to I make sure that. the whole yeah, thing yeah. gets coated. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? So then I'm going to take my mixture. My wine glass is in the way. Well, cheers. Cheers. To baby cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> so when would you leave your stuff everywhere? All over the counter. Well. The bags out, it's right Oh out. my gosh, there's going to be a domestic. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm taking my mixture and going just right into any mold. I've got these little white bowls here. Um, yesterday I also put one into this little mold. So they came out as like kind of flat, almost kind of pyramids with the tops cut off. So I mean, you can make them really fancy looking if you wish. Go over to your neighbors and Still borrow a really pretty bowl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get that in there. Uh, there we go. And then these are going to sit uncovered in the fridge for about an hour to two hours. All right. Check that out. Until they firm up. And then you can. I remember it was Chef Deb Gleason that helped us with this cashew dill cheese, and she actually came out from Vancouver to visit with us, and we made it. Hi, Deb. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Deb. <laughs> and. Um, 
Yeah, she was telling us that you can actually play with the amount of agar that you put in or how much water stuff that you use to keep this a little bit softer. So you can also make this into like a dip if you want to keep it runny or, or keep it hot, like a fondue or something, right? You can use it. Ooh, cheese like on a cashew, everything is great. A cashew cheese fondue. So these recipes are so adaptable um, and the flavors, like the base is pretty much the same for both of these that you just kind of change it up a little bit and end up with two completely different Completely different. So go get box. an assortment of Esther approved crackers. Check out the ingredients because a lot of crackers they slip in a little ingredient called eggs. Unfortunately, eggs are in a lot of crackers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you check That's right. Out. Make sure that it doesn't have eggs in them. But this right here is completely 100% Esther approved baby cheeses. Dead easy. Where did Esther go? Did she go back to bed? Oh, she just left and went to her big bed. That's really strange. That's so we're going to put together a little cheese platter. <laughs> that or she's into something. Through. It's like a toddler. You don't hear noise. You should probably be curious. Mm. What could she be into? We should probably check this relatively quickly. Folks, so enjoy, guys. Happy check holidays. You're going to love this. Your guests at your parties are going to love this. It is so delicious. So check it out. The recipe will be posted along with the video. Uh, and you can also check them out on Esther's them. Kitchen. Yeah, give them to them. They're still warm. It's delicious while it's still warm. And you can see here when it firms mm, up. Warm nut right? cheese. It gets a little bit harder. It's so delicious. Mm. Enjoy, everybody. Talk to you soon. Oh, we should go show this to Esther. Esther can have all of this. This is one that she should test, and I'm actually surprised she didn't come to check it out. Sorry, my mouth. So never mind. I got Stay with us for a moment. I got a cracker in my mouth. No. We're yeah. going to check this out with Esther. This moment couldn't be greater. Oh my god, you're so funny. <laughs> so funny. Oh, hi, Miss Pig. Oh, monkey. Oh, my goodness. It's time for baby cheeses. Oh, oh piggy cheese time. Oh, look at what I got. Hey. Look at what I got. Let me cut a little bit. What are you doing? I'm going to cut the cheese. Hey, what cut are you doing? the cheese for Esther. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Look at this big cheese. Oh, <laughs> yeah. On the baguette. Oh, you look at that, move. baby. Oh, my goodness. So delicious. I'm going to cut you another one. Look who's here. The Corno's here. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's Ruby. here to cut the cheese. You want some? Give Ruben oh. a cheese. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm trying. Hey, Corno, mm -hmm. what are you doing? There we have it, folks. Esther approved es baby oh, cheeses. Oh, here we go. Ruben. Oh, this is Ruben's piece. Esther Pink, look. Oh, oh. Miss Pink. <laughs> Miss Pink, look. Here's oh, a little you. cheese ball. Oh. <laughs> That's such a good cheese ball. You love it? Oh. You love it? Folks, just a Another. few ingredients prepared simply. Yes. And there you have it. A perfect holiday treat uh, that keeps for seven to ten days in your refrigerator. Absolutely. Enjoy it, guys. Hope you love it. Esther clearly does. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody.